When I was younger, I, I wanted to be like a lawyer and a barrister. I'd go watch the games, but didn't realise it was a job for the girls, if that makes sense. As I got older and got into the academies, I realised, oh, this, this could be something for me, and I really want to go and get it. I've got two older brothers. So my mum used to take me to go watch them on a Sunday when they played grassroots and I'd always be distracted with a, with a ball at my feet and I think one day she got sick of it and was like, right, I'm taking you to a team. I managed to get a trial at Liverpool, but the first time I trialled, they actually turned around and said no. I remember running to my mum in the car, like crying my eyes out. So uh, I carried on for one more year at Grassroots. The, the following year, I, I tried again at Liverpool and they finally said yes. If you want to be a professional footballer, then 100% go for it, if that's what you want to do. Secondly, you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you can't expect anyone else to. They go for goal, he will! Oh! Five-star Liverpool! What a way to finish the season! I spent five years at Liverpool, which I loved. That was a big, big step for me at 14 to move out from home. When I was 19, decided to to move on and sign for Swansea. We all know there's not enough Asian players in the game. A lot of things have to change from the scouts looking at Asian players. They can't be stereotyped to not being strong enough, not being this, not being that. They should be given the same opportunities as a white person or a black person or Spanish or wherever they come from. We should be looking at how we scout. Historically, there's been a sort of unconscious bias, maybe a perception that some Asian players weren't as athletic, weren't as strong. Again, that's just such a, a ridiculous generalisation. You know, in a lot of communities now, football is being played in all sorts of varieties of areas. So I, I think in terms of scouting the Asian community, we've got to be creative in getting into the places where some of these kids might be playing and encouraging them into um, broader leagues where they can be assessed more easily against other players and, and, and then uh, making that step into the academy system. Asian players don't have a lot of role models. People like myself are trying to change that and, and give the Asian players that belief that they actually can do it. I always think, oh, am I a role model? Like, I'm just like me. I'm just playing football, just loving the job that I'm in. It's a big responsibility, especially women in sport, trying to grow the sport. and. Trying to go grow women's football, we've each got to do our part. Trying to get girls to participate, whether that's at amateur level, whether that's professional, just trying to get more girls to play football. <laughs>